it is supposed to be the most beautiful month because it's spring and that's the one season that I really hate. Imagine if we could get abs from sneezing. I would have a six pack, I'm telling you. I've got jasmine in this garden. Ooh, people. Mm -mm, I don't like spring. It was very hot last week. It was hot to the point where we thought if it's like this in September, we are going to die in December. But it cooled down again. So I'm back in the tracksuit for today. Luckily it cooled down again. I love winter. I really, really love winter. Summer is not my thing. But anyway, what shall we do? Okay, so what's happening in my project pipeline? It's exciting. It's overwhelming too, but I do it to myself now. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so Cable Me Cozy Cow will start on the 1st of November. The kits will be available as from the 1st of October. The kits will be from um, a freak yarn. The cowl is done with a double strand of Moya Caress, the winter cotton. It's looking divine, but I ran out of yarn. Hello. So yeah, I'm waiting for the last little bit of yarn to come. I'm hoping it would be here by Monday. And... Um, yeah, then I need to finish that blanket before the end of the month. I'm nearly there. I'm nearly there. So, Cable Me Cozy is available in a couple of sizes. I wonder what the sizes are. I can't remember now. Hang on. I'll check. Um, ting, ting, ting. Let me quickly see. I forgot. I completely forgot. Cable Me Cozy, where are you? Um, anyway, okay, so as soon as the yarn comes, I will get going on that again. Sorry for looking this way. I'm looking to my other screen. Um, I really want to finish that blanket now. And mine is massive because we have a king size extra length bed. So it's a big bed. So I made a big blanket because I, I have a thing with, with blankets. I get it. Yarn is expensive. Cot even cotton is no longer a cheap yarn. Yarn is expensive, full stop. Um, I cannot afford to make myself a wool blanket unless I do it over a long time with scraps of different sizes, which is a good idea. But knowing myself, I'm never going to get there. I've hoarded stash for a long time and eventually I just decided you know what this is not working so I sent it off to somebody that does charity work so I know I'm never gonna have a wool blanket but uh, a nice thick cotton blanket is absolutely divine to sleep under in the summertime uh, this is the second one that I'm doing so I can tell from experience it's really nice to sleep under that blanket it's got a little bit of weight but it's not hot it's absolutely fantastic for a summer blanket on your bed okay so cable me cozy where are you um, the blanket is available in the following sizes. Let me see. Where is it now? Oh my goodness, what did I do with it? Hmm. Oh my bird. Oh, there it is. Okay. The small one is a baby blanket. It's 130 by 150, more or less, centimeters. The medium is nice for a single bed or a three-quarter bed. That's 180 by 180. Then the large is for a double bed or a queen-size bed. It's two by two meter. And then the extra large is the king-size one. That's 220 by 220. So yeah. I'm waiting for my yarn. I've got one panel left to knit and one panel left to finish. 
so it's like one and a quarter more or less and then I'm then I'm done then it's just the border I have no idea what I'm gonna do with the border I'm still thinking about it but I have I have a couple of ideas but none of it makes none of it grabs me yet all right so did you see the captain's cardigan the knitted cardigan I can't show it to you because I no longer have it <laughs> years ago I was in the mall with a friend and she had a toddler with her it's many years ago and at some stage the toddler wanted to sit with me so we were walking in the mall and I had this little girl on my hip and we walked into a shop and it was winter time and there was a little denim coat with faux fur here around the arms and on the collar and whatever and that little girl she was three years old she tugged me like this and she pointed to the jacket she said i need that on <laughs> i can remember i laughed so hard i thought my girl you're three years old if it's starting now already blessings to your mother when you become a teenager but that captain's cardigan my daughter came to visit on sunday and she looked at it and she said ma i need this so what does a mother do take so my captain's cardigan is gone. It's just so damn lucky that I want to do a crochet one anyway. So this is the yarn for the crochet version. Nice lime green and um, licorice. Oh no, this is charcoal, not licorice, sorry. Charcoal and kiwi. Quite fitting seeing that I have children in New Zealand don't you just love the smell of hand dyed yarn okay there are some yarn houses that absolutely smother their product in conditioner or fabric softener or something and it smells so sweet when you open the packet I don't like it I really don't like it I'm sorry I've got sinus I've got hay fever I hate it but when you smell yarn like this it's got that, hmm, it's like you smell the sheep and you smell a bit of vinegar with it. Oh, I love it. I really do. Okay, so this is for the crocheted version of the Captain's Cardigan. I don't know when I'm going to start it. It's in the pipeline. My pipeline changes a bit as we go along, you know. As the new yarn comes, the, the pipeline changes. <laughs> anyway, okay, so this is for the crocheted version of the Captain's Cardigan. If you want the knitted version, it's on my website and it's on Ravelry. It is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, so, and then, you know, I've got enablers for friends. But anyway, Glynis from Brooklands, weaving, weaving at Brooklands, weaving weaving the website is brooklands.co.za she's the ashford agent in south africa and um, i am glennis's webmaster i do her website for her and she sent me a whatsapp a couple of weeks ago saying that there's a new range of yarn in the ashford range and it's a fingering weight and i was immediately oh really really new yarn mm -hmm. so i ordered two packs of yarn it's merino it's genuine merino um it's a four ply or a fingering weight it's a very um, nice one i've got these two colors this is like a very cerise pink and this is like a petrol blue that's what my mom called it I don't know if it's the right word, but it's in my world, this is petrol blue. <laughs> anyway, very nice and soft, very nice and soft. It's got a very high twist, but yet it's soft and not stiff, which is quite unique because normally the higher the twist, the harder the yarn gets. But this yarn was made specifically to weave with. So it's durable it's soft but the twist is high enough um, 
I wonder if you will see the twist. If, yeah, you can. Look at the twist in that. It's a very nice high twist, but yet it's extremely soft. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice fingering. There's 400 meters on 100 grams. So on a ball like this, it's a 50 gram ball. There's 200 meters. And these two are going to become two summer tops. Now, if you don't know it yet, Merino is wonderful to wear in summer because it regulates your, your body temperature. Obviously, you won't go for Aaron. I mean, that, that's taking it a bit far. But fingering weight Merino is fantastic for summer tops. It's my absolute preference. I prefer this to cotton. Cotton really has to be something very special for me to knit with it in summer. I really prefer the Merino. So in my Ravelry uh, pattern collection or on my website, you will see two knitted tops. The one is the Plain Jane Crew Neck and the other one is the Summer Henley. Now I'm going to crochet those two patterns or I'm going to design the crochet version of the knitted pattern with these two. I don't know which one is going to be first. I'll see which one shouts the loudest. Okay, so if you want some of this fantastic yarn, um, brooklands.co.za. And if you are in New Zealand, oh, you're so blessed. I'm jealous. Anyway, okay, and then I've got more yarn for the next crochet cowl, which is a wacky weave. Yay! I've missed the wacky weave, I really did. Okay, so this is my color scheme, my kit. <laughs> Doesn't that scream, Hilda? <laughs> yeah, okay, I don't want to give the name of the cowl just yet until we start working on it so my my okay let's just first go through everything wacky weave wacky weave will start somewhere next year i don't know when we'll see because i'm making another massively big blanket because i've got a massively big bed yeah uh, that's what i was talking about yarn is expensive and um we love crocheting blankets but what do you do with a blanket of 1.3 by 1.3 or 1.5 by 1.5 or something like that it's not big enough to use on a bed i am very much for making practical usable items i hate making something that i will not use it really freaks me out so I would rather save a little bit and buy a big kit for a big blanket once or twice a year instead of making four small ones. Because what the hell am I supposed to do with them? In front of the TV, you can only have so many TV blankets. Where do you go with it? What do you do with it? So, um, as far as I know, Moya does have a feature on their website where you can pay the kit off in installments. Um, I'm not sure which payment gateway they are using, but I know there are a couple of them in the market. Pay Just Now, Moby Cred, um, yeah, another one. And, and I think PayFast also offers the same thing now, I'm not sure. But um, you can order the kit and pay it off in a couple of installments. It's usually three installments, which is very nice. So save a little bit, buy one big kit and make a blanket for your bed so that you can enjoy the work that you've put into this so that you can use the item and have that luxury of sleeping under that blanket i i don't do the the small blanket thing right then i'm still working on a little summer top in merino fingering but man this freaked me out yes some 
Uh, I frogged the first, I started the first one and I didn't like the stitch pattern so I pulled it out immediately. I looked for another stitch pattern and I did a little bit and I didn't like it so I just dropped this one down. It stayed there. Then I started again. Um, I changed the stitch pattern but the neck didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I had this little fold here in the corner. My corners weren't done properly. So number three got chucked down. Then I started with number four. Changed the neck. It was better, but it still it wasn't what I had in my head. So I wasn't happy. So a number, this one was done quite a bit and I threw that one down and I thought stuff this I'm not going to do that so I started again so this is now number one two three four this is number five sounds like mumbo number five <laughs> anyway um, my testers and I wanted a square neck and this is what we've got now we've got a square neck the stitch pattern is lovely, it's dense enough, you can wear the top without a camisole underneath. Um, mine still needs sleeves and then still a bit down here, so I'm nearly done. I'm hoping to spend some time over the weekend, maybe, just maybe, I can finish that top. Whether I will be able to, I don't know, because um, I've still got... Uh, um, we are going camping this coming Thursday so we still got our camping stuff to sort out this weekend um, wash the off-road trailer the camping trailer and make a big list of shopping that I must go and get for the camp and then we're gonna be off for 10 days so I don't know if I will be able to finish the top this weekend but if I don't then I just carry on next week I'm planning to take the Cable Me Cozy Knitted Cowl Blanket with me to the campsite and I want to finish it up there and give uh, Moya all the kit quantities and everything else so that they can put it on the website and then I'll take photos when I come back. Yeah. So, um, and then as soon as that blanket is done, out of the way I'm gonna start on the wacky weave one I always have a small project and a big project the small project travels with me to coffee shops and to friends and on the train and whatever have you so um, these little toppies will be my small projects for a while that and the uh, captain's cardigan these are my travel projects and then the wacky weave one will be the big one that will sit in my lounge. I must go tidy up my lounge. There's yarn everywhere. Anyway, so that is what is happening in my world. The workshops are done for this year. I'm not going to have another workshop this year. I don't know what I'm going to do next year in terms of workshops. We'll see. But um, we'll get there in due time. Yes, for now. Um, I've got enough to keep my hands busy. I think I told you everything. I don't think I left anything off. If you haven't yet subscribed to the newsletter on my website, please do. Um, at the beginning of every month, I do a special on some of the patterns in my shop and they are marked down at 50% and you will not know about it if you don't get the newsletter. It's exclusive to the newsletter. So go to my website, Ilona Slow Life Creations .co and subscribe to the newsletter. Now I understand from some people that it's difficult to find the subscription boxy thingy on a mobile device, so rather use a tablet or a computer. And um, while you're there, browse the site. I'll see you next month. And by the time I see you again, it will be um, a couple of weeks before the cows start. Two weeks, three weeks. 
something like that. Um, yeah, keep your eye on social media for when we make the kits available. And I can't wait. I hope you will join me in the call. Great. I'll see you next month.